Hello, Form A. This is a tutorial on how to make your Tinkercad chess pawn. First, you need to log into your Tinker account. Then you can go up to Learn, select Lessons, and then here is the chess pawn. And you may then hit click Start. All right, so the first thing uh, we have is in this lesson, you'll learn how to design a traditional chess pawn. So let's hit next. It says drag the cylinder shape to the work plane. So we're gonna take our cylinder here and put it right in there. Might use the arrow keys to bump it over. And choose next. Scale it so that it's a height of three millimeters. So I'm going to grab this little white square here, and I can either type in three millimeters and hit enter, or I could drag it down, but I just did the three, so there it is. Drag a work plane to the top of the cylinder. So I'm going to grab the work plane here. I grab it, so I put it there on top of the cylinder. Choose next. It says drag a cone shape to the top of the cylinder. So I'm going to grab cone shape and put it right there on top. I need to move it back a little bit. There we go. And then I hit next. Scale the shape shorter to a height of 11. So I'm going to grab this top little one. Again, I'm going to change this to 11. Shrink it down a little bit and says drag a sphere shape to the work plane. So I have my sphere, I'll grab it, put it on top, looks pretty good. Then I can choose next. It says scale the sphere to a diameter of 18 millimeters. So again, 18, so both these are 20, so I'm gonna change this, 18. And I'm going to change this to 18. So that's in the width. And then it says squish it, scale it to shorter to a height of five. So I can here, and I'm going to make this five. So it makes it a lot squishier. That to the place. Move it to the target area where it's orange. And again, I just use the arrow keys to move it where it needed to be. Drag a cone shape to the work plane. There's my cone. I choose next. Scale it to a height of 28. So I'm going to grab the top of it. Again, I'm going to make this 28. And scale it smaller to a diameter of 14. So I'm going to choose these. This one is 14. And this one. And again, when you're doing diameter, you want to make sure you change both sides. 14 and 14. Then it asks, move the cone to the target area. And it wants me to lift the cone three meters off the work plane. So to lift, you grab the little black triangle there at the top. And that allows you to then one, two, three off of the work plane. You can see there it grew off of that. And I can look. Oh, maybe. So there I am. And choose next. It says drag another cone to the target area in orange. So another cone. Choose next. Scale it to a diameter of 12. So again, I'm going to change this one to 12. Change this one to 12. And then it says scale it taller to a height of 19. So we're going to change that from being 20 to the 19. Next, rotate the cone 180 degrees. So we're going to grab my cone. And you can see there's a little arrow there. And so if I keep my mouse inside of the circle, it goes by kind of 15 degrees. If I, if I grab it, the rotation, I keep my mouse outside of the circle, and it just goes by individual. 
and keep it in here. And then there's the 180. And so then we're going to move it to the target that's orange. It looks like I'm going to have to drag to a work plane to the top of the cone. So we need to go back step. And I need to move this thing up. So I moved it up six so that it could fit into the cone. And it says drag the work plane on top. So I grab the work plane here. I'm going to put it right on top. And then it says drag a sphere to the work plane. And I'm trying to make sure I'm all set there. Hit next. Scale the sphere so that it's eight by eight by eight. Tip holding shift on the keyboard will scale the shape in all directions. If I hold shift on the keyboard, I can grab any of these points. Then I can shrink it down, 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 down. And that makes it eight. And so then it's eight in all directions because I held shift when I changed the shape. You could have typed it in, but it was a quicker way of doing it. And this. Choose next. It says drag the work plane to the original location of the work plane. Place to place the work plane anywhere except on the shape to reset. So if I grab the work plane, just kind of put it over here. That drops it on down, which works out pretty nicely. Then we choose next. It says select all the shapes. So we're going to grab all the shapes. So I'm dragging a big rectangle around all of them. And then it says click on the align button. And here I want to make sure that I'm aligning it this way and this way in the center. If I if I choose over here, then all the pieces kind of shift over to the left, and that's not what I really want. And I can go here, and they're all there, and I don't really want that. So I want them right in the middle that way. And in this case, they're already set that way. So now everything is nicely lined up um, for it. Okay. Choose next. And then I want it says select all the shapes, click the group button. One thing I'm going to ask you to do is grab the ball and just drop it down one. It will make an easier print if it's sunk down uh, just one millimeter. So grab that top ball, like I said, grab the little black triangle there, and you're just going to want to drop it down one. Just makes it an easier print uh, later on. All right, so and then we got to group everything. So we're going to select everything, and then we grab the group. And there is our chest pawn, and it's done. Again, don't forget to change the name of it. So chest pawn, and then your first initial class name. And you can turn it in via Google Classroom. Thank you very much.